So I'm adding some Recon Big Rig Ice LED running board lights and some of their clear side marker lenses to my uh, 2014 F250. I don't know if it's just out of spite or what, but for some reason, a couple weeks after I bought my truck, the guy down the road went and bought the same one. Anyway, so let me show you my problems here. So if I open the door, the uh, the courtesy lights on the the uh, big rig ices light up like they're supposed to, and uh, you know nothing really happens with the side marker lenses. If I turn the parking lights on, then I get the uh, the parking lights there or the uh, running board lights, you know. Uh, however, the side markers just continually scan. So let me show you how I, uh, how I installed this and how I caused the problem for myself. Well, I've got the big rig ices just taped in place for now. And I've got the running board and turn signal lights routed up through a grommet on both the driver's and passenger side right in the floor there, right like under the driver's feet. And uh, I routed the other one back here right down the frame rail. And come out here to a factory installed connector that is for puddle lights. So it's specifically for running board lights. Because I did not run my wires all the way to the front, uh, you know, I have to take the grill off and pull the headlights out and connect them there to the uh, headlight wires and stuff as the instructions say. And uh, um, I've also seen other people that'll run it back to the rear anyways, uh, since I had you know, such a short run, I had all kinds of wire left over, right? And well, uh, you know, in the process, I just cut some off. And I mean, no big deal, right? That's great. I should have thought to myself for a second, like, hey, I don't know what that is. Like, you know, I didn't even think about it. I just cut it off, right? Well, since I've had these issues, and I found that if I disconnect the uh, big rig ice running board and turn signal lights, the uh, side marker lenses will work. And for the last couple of days, my gut's been telling me, Matt, all that needs is a diode. And I even poked around all my electronic stuff and dug through all my stuff that I have here at home from work, and I couldn't find any. And then last night, I was picking up around the garage, and I picked this wire clipping up again. And as I was rolling it up, my fingers ran across that section, and I thought, no. Could it be? So, I cut one open. Yep. Sure enough, there's a diode. Now, diodes are directional, okay? So they're like a one-way check valve, right? And uh, I don't know if you can see on this one, there's a stripe on one end. And that stripe will always go to negative, right? And so I'm going to solder this. I, you know, I'll clean that all up, solder it, heat shrink it, and all that good stuff, right? But if you don't want to do that, if you just want to, you know, if you're lucky enough where you still have, you know, you still have this, Get a digital multimeter and uh, turn it here to the one here that uh, looks like a you know a triangle. Okay, so this one is uh, is the alternate mode. So what you want to know is which side's positive. So that's going to come like from your uh, from your battery or the source. Okay, so I'm gonna on this one I'm gonna hook the uh, positive to the short side and the negative to the long side. Okay, so the meter is still reading over limits or out of limits. So now I'm going to switch. I'm going to connect the red one to the long side and the black one to the short side. And now we get a reading on our meter. So we know that that diode's good and we know what direction it has to go. So from the circuit, from the, the existing truck wiring, we want to have the long side and on the short side we want to go to the big rig ice so again it's hard to see but the diode has one side that's coated white or you know is, is striped right and so that side is going to go to the big rig ice and i also want to say that you don't have to have a 300 dollars fluke multimeter I looked in like, you know, the $10 version that you can get at your local uh, Home Depot or Menards or Lowe's or whatever, right? Like, uh, they also had a diode check. Now, you you know, you got to be careful of leads. Always check your leads, too. Multimeter meter leads are notorious for failing and giving false readings. So over here on the passenger side, 
underneath the dash behind the right side kick panel is the body control module and this is where all the wiring for like the headlights and all that kind of stuff goes so this is the connection to the right side turn signal that is a green wire with an orange stripe and so that comes down here to the red wire this is my my fix this is the running board circuit so the running board circuit for both sides is going to be a yellow wire with a green stripe and you'll tie the uh, yellow wire from the uh, big rig ice into that and there's my uh, my fix on the, uh, the yellow wire while I had this apart I also wanted to show how the uh, the wire runs underneath you just kind of pull the carpet back and uh, you can see the grommet and you just make a little slit just I just took a utility knife and just made a little slit and then ran my wire up and in and, and down and back in the cable tray so over here on the driver's side that grommets in about the same location I routed the wires over here inside behind the kick panel brought them down into this wire tray Here's the yellow and green wire that's connected to the yellow wire from our big rig ice. This is our running lights. Here is the connection for the uh, left side turn signal. And there's my fixes. Uh, these connectors are UB2. They're a scotch lock jelly fill connector I got from a friend of mine that uh, works in the telephone industry. And again, all the wires for this side come through underneath these seats. And so you can get to them both in this trough. It's pretty, pretty easy. And there's the wiring tray all closed up and ready for the, the trim piece there. I wanted to say also that I got all these wire colors and all this stuff through a service manual that I bought on eBay for I think like 50 or 60 bucks or something. So uh, if you can't find your wires, maybe you could do the same thing. I also got the uh, the running board lights mounted. I just put a, I painted the brackets that they provided black and then put a pop rivet in pretty easy so here are some clips of the truck all lit up at night I like how bright the clear side mirror lenses are but the consensus of the young 20 something truck guys at my local watering hole is that it'd be cooler if the side lenses were amber and I agree with them the bright white light on the side is just kind of stands out over everything else. The white running light LEDs on the cleared side mirror lenses are pretty bright. It had just rained when I shot this, and the humidity caused a neat halo effect with the camera. Here's a good example of the strobe effect when the side mirror lenses are scanning while the turn signals are on. About every third blink, the clear lights blink on for a fraction of a second before the scanning resumes. Well, I hope you found something in this video helpful and don't make the same mistakes that I did. If you don't cut off the wires, this should be a project you can complete in an afternoon. I think that this was a pretty cost effective way to dress the truck up a bit, make it a little more visible, and help it stand out from the guy down the road's truck. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.